Ontario Engine Research. For new viewers, my channel is dedicated to development and construction of an air motor that could be used in a modern vehicle by just removing the engine, adding a tank with compressed air, and be able to drive that vehicle. I am currently working on one that's called an oval three-cylinder that has variable uh, cylinder use so you can run it with uh, three cylinders, two cylinders, or one. But in the meantime, while I'm working on it, I thought I'd go back and pull up some of the old videos that I had made while I was trying to develop the oval air engine. I had a number of different combinations and some worked pretty well, some didn't work very well at all. But I'll let you just take a look and you can make up your mind how well they worked or how well they didn't. If you're interested in what I'm doing, I'd appreciate your subscribing. And when you see a video or hear some of my ideas, I'd appreciate if you'd give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down so I know how well I'm, I'm doing. So why don't we go ahead and look at some of these old videos and maybe laugh a few times. The uh, next version that we're going to see was a four-cylinder model that I tried. It worked pretty well too, but it's got quite a few moving parts and fairly complicated. So over the years, I decided not to work on that one. Okay, over the past week or so, I've been working on the uh, valve assembly right here, trying to make it more compact and more easily assembled and disassembled if I need to work on something. So I think I've got that pretty well done. And I've also included an upper and lower seal in there now so that the air doesn't leak around the valve. I also tried a different valve version on this uh, one too, and it worked pretty good too, but again, it was leaking air and having more problems with a lot more parts and complicated, so I didn't, didn't continue with that one either. next version is a six cylinder that has what I call a push-pull slider valve. I had a lot of trouble with that leaking so that was not a good good option although it ran pretty well. Okay now I have all six uh, cylinders hooked together and in running order but I still have the problem with the outer 
uh, ring making contact with the pistons at all times. That's how it goes. Small test with rotor number five for timing and location. The two cylinders mounted, one here, one over here, and I'm trying to find out where the correct position would be to make sure that it starts in every every time without pushing it manually. So I just have to keep trying it and see where it stops. In most cases, it works. problems. It just isn't quite pushing it far enough. three videos that you just saw that'll bring you kind of up to date to where I am now uh, as you can see with the, the two cylinders that are mounted they're actually a combination cylinder and valve which in the past I've always had two either a cylinder and then a valve mounted on top of it so this is a much more compact uh, video or air motor and as you've seen in the first couple, there's many, many, many more parts that would be necessary to, to run. This one, with the three cylinders, it has a push rod, it has a ball valve, it has a cylinder, and a rotor in the center, and the oval ring on the outside, so that's basically the engine. I don't have the, the uh, mounting for it yet. I'm still just working with a wooden base so that it's not so expensive and buying parts and things. But anyway, that's where I'm at right now. I'm continuing to work on it. And as I make progress, I will be putting out more information about how it's going. And once again, if you like to subscribe you'll be notified then whenever I do put out more information and if you do subscribe please give me a thumbs up or thumbs down I appreciate you looking in and if you go to YouTube and search for air engine research you'll find my website there thank you